This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Back in one of my Gatlinburg videos, I had a really important message, and it was to the effect of a lot of us, not all of us, but a lot of us view these end times prophetic events from the comforts of our own homes. We have this inherent hedge of protection or in this sort of bubble in that we don't feel an immediate threat from all these things happening around the world, volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, natural disasters. Again, a lot of us, but not all of us. There are indeed some of my subscribers who are going through these trials and tribulations. But for the rest of us who haven't experienced it yet, I said that this stuff would eventually roll up on your doorstep. So I'm from the Cincinnati area. And I found out about this a couple days ago. Greater Cincinnati's first festival of faiths, where 12 world religions will be coming together for a whole host of activities, including interfaith prayer. Isn't that prophetic? Again, showing up right on my doorstep. Now, I had mentioned this, geez several months ago, maybe even over a year ago. There's an initiative called the Tri-Faith Initiative. Starts in Omaha, Nebraska. And they are literally building churches to cater to three of the major world religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, centering them all in one complex, or even in some cases, one building, to bridge faith and understanding between all these religions saying that if we follow our genealogy back to Abraham, we all technically worship the same God. But they do not believe in Jesus Christ, so no. Um, it's, it's not the same faith and understanding. Uh, God said that the times of ignorance that he's overlooked in the past are gone. The Messiah has come. He came. And so there is no excuse because there is no other name by which you go to the Father, and that's through Jesus Christ. So this Tri-Faith Initiative is deceiving people. And you have it spreading across the United States, also probably in different countries as well, under the guise of different organizations. So this, again, Cincinnati's first Festival of Faiths, is hosted by Bridges of Faith Trilog at Bridges Cincinnati. And look what they're peddling. Islam, Christianity, Judaism. Just like the Tri-Faith Initiative. And <laughs> this is prophecy in the making right here in Cincinnati. So, again, check this out. There's actually an interfaithcincy.org website. Had no idea that existed. But I did find their newsletter about this event. So I guess it's been going on for the past week. But it concludes in a day of celebration. Including opportunities for interfaith prayer and meditation and dialogue. So it's going to be this Sunday. That's going to be June 24th from 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And hey, check this out. There will be picture taking with a life-size cutout cardboard of Pope Francis. So, of course, he's going to be there. Um, at least cardboard cutout version, Pope Francis. So this is um, pretty crazy. And let's see if there's anything else I had to share with you. No, no, I don't have any more, don't have any more tabs open on this one. But uh, here's the plan, guys. So I'm going to head down there. I'm not exactly sure what time, maybe 1 p.m. Um, but if you want to meet up with me, so I am, I'm putting myself out there for anyone that's local to Cincinnati. If you want to meet up there, I will be having my camera and all my gear out there. I'm going to be recording things and making a video out of it. If you want to join up with me, I'm not going to have a lot of time to spend out there. Um, but if you want to join out with me, uh, shoot me an email. 
So it's Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, at onpointpreparedness.net. And we'll try to work something out to maybe where we can meet up, maybe talk briefly about things that we're seeing. But this is going on, and it's prophecy in the making. And if you're from this area, like I said, the one world religion is rolling up on your doorstep. And for all those other people in different cities, whether you're in the United States or not, remember, Mystery Babylon, this one world religion, which is going to host the Antichrist and host him as a god, and he will exalt himself above every idol or everything that is worshipped or called god, it will be global. So this will come to your doorstep as well. And when it does... It'll be shocking, but you'll know that you've been warned. So, hopefully I'll see some of you out there. I will note that I'm not going out there with a megaphone. I'm not going out there telling everyone uh, with a microphone blasted that uh, they're all sinners and they need to repent. My style is much more different where I am going to bring my Bible and I'm going to seek out every opportunity to minister when God opens doors for me to do that. Um, so if you have that same type of approach, uh, feel free to go down there with me. Hopefully we'll change the direction of some of these folks. And if not that, we'll at least get to expose this so that all of you can see what's going on. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless everybody.